Hey folks, this is Kalani. With a new patch, usually comes new and exciting ways to gear up. And even though we're looking at the horizon, wondering when the next expansion launches, it's still worthwhile getting your characters geared up to tackle any challenge that heads your way, be that stepping up a difficulty in raiding or just aiming for higher and higher Mythic Plus keys. One of the most important parts of gearing up, especially if you're gearing up an alt or you're just a new player, is the legendary system. Being able to equip two item level 1000 pieces of gear, which add bonus effects to your spells and abilities, is crazy in both terms of item level and character power. But legendaries haven't been the most reliable thing to try and get your hands on, but we're here to look at how you can grab those elusive legendaries in record speed. If you have a lot of time to spare, you could even get two per week. So let's have a look at how you can farm legendaries quickly and efficiently. So with patch 735, a new token was introduced which allows you to create a legendary on the spot without having to worry about RNG. Well, there's still a little RNG involved, but it's nowhere near as bad. You can purchase a legendary, but you don't get to choose what it turns into. Baby steps, baby steps. The currency you'll need to collect for these legendary tokens is called Wakening Essence, and it drops from a whole bunch of different content at max level. You need to farm up 1000 essence to purchase a token, so let's see which sources are the most worthwhile when you take into account how long the content takes to clear through, and how much essence you're rewarded with. The most valuable source of essence comes from your Mythic Plus Weekly Cash. If you complete a Mythic Plus dungeon at any key level, you'll be awarded with 120 essence in your weekly chest. That means if you run just one plus two key, you receive the same rewards as people running those crazy plus 20 keys when it comes to essence. Spending 20 minutes on one of your days can net you 120 essence by the end of the week, which is the most essence you will get all at once, so be sure to get at least something done on a character you're wanting to farm legendaries on. The next thing I would make sure you get done is your emissary caches. I know, I know, they're kind of tedious at this point, but each daily cache can award you between 24 and 60 essence. That's a pretty big gap, which is where RNG comes into play. If you get lucky, you could be rolling in essence at the end of the week's farming, or if you're unlucky, you could just be a few short of a legendary token. That's a little annoying, but it's still better than not having a way to actively work towards a legendary, in my opinion. Another great thing about emissaries is that you don't actually have to do them on a daily basis. If you log in once every three days and bash out three at a time, you can still complete your dailies, quote unquote, without having to actually be there every day, which is great if you have limited playtime. Finishing seven emissaries in a week can net you a maximum of 420 essence, which is a huge chunk of that legendary token. Now bear in mind that is maximum, which probably isn't going to happen, but if you look at the averages, you'll get around 294. So luck definitely plays a part here. You also get 30 essence for completing a daily heroic dungeon, which are ridiculously easy at this point in the game. Most of the groups I join just run through the dungeon without really stopping, clearing the entire dungeon in 5-10 to 10 minutes, depending on what dungeon you end up with. For a few minutes every day you can rack up another 210 essence by the end of the week, so be sure to get those heroics done. If you can sign as a tank or healer, or drag a tank or healer friend into the queue, to speed things up that would make things even easier. Another huge source of essence is Antorus the Burning Throne, and thankfully it doesn't matter what difficulty you kill the bosses on. Your first kill of each boss for the week will award you between 18 and 36 essence. You can only get essence once per week per boss, so you can't go in on normal and clear the whole place for essence, and then go in on heroic and expect to get more. So if you really aren't into raiding, you wouldn't be missing out on much by just completing the bosses on LFR difficulty, though that last wing might give you a bit of trouble for the next few weeks. Honestly, normal Antorus isn't too bad these days, so if you can get a group or set up a group for that, you should be able to clear through the entire raid relatively easily. A full clear of Antorus can earn you up to a maximum of 396 essence, or an average of 297. If you finish up everything we've talked about so far, you can earn a max of 1146 essence per week, or an average of 921 per week. That average is just a little shy of earning yourself a token, but thankfully there's a few other sources of essence we haven't talked about. The reason we haven't talked about them yet is because they're not so time friendly. The first comes from winning a random battleground and can be earned once a day. So you can sign up for a random BG and if you win you'll be awarded 30 essence. You can do this 7 times a week for a weekly earning of 210 essence, 
but battlegrounds aren't the same as heroic dungeons. They take quite a bit longer, and if you don't win, there's no essence in your prize pool. So winning a random battleground each day could end up taking quite a while, which is why I wouldn't recommend trying to get your BGs done before any of the other content we covered previously. The other sources are just much more efficient. Even more annoying than the random battlegrounds is the rated PvP weekly rewards. You can earn 50 essence for earning 1500 honor in two 2v2 arena, 3v3 arena, and rated battlegrounds. Not only is that not time friendly, it's not really new player friendly either. PvP can be a lot harder to get into when compared to PvE, and earning 1500 honor will take you a very long time if you can't win in those areas of PvP. It's doable for sure, but again I wouldn't recommend it unless you've already completed all of the other daily sources of essence. If you're only a few short of a legendary, have at it, but there might be better ways to spend your time. If you complete all forms of content which can award essence, you will easily be able to afford a token every single week. But there's still the typical source of legendaries, random drops from anywhere in the game. Thankfully, most of the content that rewards Wakening Essence will be cranking up your bad luck protection to earn those usual legendaries quite quickly. If you're earning essence, you're already working towards your next random legendary drop quite nicely. There are a few other areas of the game which don't award essence where I would strongly suggest you spend your time if legendaries are your goal. The first is invasion points on Argus. They might be getting a little old in some of your minds by this point, but it seems like they're one of the best places to earn bad luck protection and quickly earn legendaries. Half the invasions I complete, it seems like someone gets a legendary, and most of my recent legendaries have come from invasion points too. Invasions come up every two hours, so you can complete three every six hours, so if you're really crazy you could complete nine per day, but that's pretty extreme. I tried to start the invasions when they're ticking over to the next round, so when one invasion has five to ten minutes left, I'll do that one first, do the other two, and by the time I'm finished the first one will have respawned, giving me the chance to complete four at a time instead of just three. If you manage to log in at the right time twice a day, you could finish eight invasions without too much effort, but I usually only do one round of four. If you have limited time to play, I'd say stick to three or four and you should still be fine. If you run through everything we've talked about so far and find yourself with playtime to spare, you might be wondering where the best place is to just endlessly farm towards your next random legendary. The best answer is Mythic Plus. It seems like older raids aren't really that worthwhile anymore and neither are Mythic Zero runs. The dev team did say that they didn't like people going back to farm older content just to try and work towards their next legendary, and I honestly don't think it's worth the time investment anymore. Running through Mythic Plus is faster, can reward relevant gear, and personally I find it way more fun. You can also work your way up Mythic Plus keys and keep challenging yourself, which is always a great feeling when you can see yourself progressing as a player. Seeing a legendary drop at the end of the run is just icing on the cake. So what's the fastest way to farm legendaries? Do the Argus invasions and a whole bunch of other daily chores for Awakening Essence so you can buy a token and earn a random legendary at the same time. I hope you all get the legendaries you're wishing for. Is there a legendary which is still eluding you? How do you feel about legendaries being discontinued going into the next expansion? Leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.